The following is an exclusive presentation of Jessup Broadcasting, the sports leader in Southeast Georgia. The world famous Butch and Bob Show. Big Dog. All right. Big Dog Country Radio, WIFOFM. And Jessup still getting used to that new jingle that we've got here for the Butch and Bob Show. Like that. Jonathan got it for us. 105.5 FM in Jessup, WIFOFM. Jessup, Big Dog Country Radio, world famous Butch and Bob Show for this Monday morning. It is the 28th day of January. And the Butch and Bob Show is brought to you by Murphy Builder Supply in downtown Jessup. Also by the Women's Health Center in downtown Jessup. And the Wolf Animal Hospital on West Cherry Street. And also brought to you by Mike Birch Ford in Blackshear. Now, uh, Bob is uh, embedded. Ralph, that's what we like to say when you talk about reporters. They're embedded. <laughs> They're embedded in all of the Super Bowl activities this week uh, up there in Atlanta. And tonight will be media night. Uh, they usually do it on a Tuesday during the day, but uh, I think a year or two ago or somewhere along there, they changed it to a night thing on Monday night. So Bob will be there uh, at, um, at media night and Bob usually ask a question to you. You'll, you'll hear him on there asking. Um, you know, he could ask you know, the coach of uh, the Rams or the or Bill Belichick, Belichick of uh, New England or even or some of the players some of their questions. But Bob will be there, and he'll be there during the during the week, and he'll be calling in reports uh, during Super Bowl week uh, all the way through Friday, and then Bob will be back home on Saturday for the uh, Wayne County Touchdown Club fundraiser with the $10,000 giveaway. So uh, Bob having a good time up there in Atlanta, embedded in the Super Bowl activities all throughout the city. All right, in the studio with us this morning here on the world-famous Butcher uh, Bob Show is Wayne County Commissioner and owner of the Strand Theater and uh, Jessup Drive-In and new to open up. The Strand Bistro is Ralph Hickox. Good morning. Good morning. You know, I heard you saying about being uh, Bob being in bed, but I was talking to Jonathan a little while ago, and he said that uh, Bob, uh, about an hour ago, ribbed him that he rolled back in bed and went back to sleep. Maybe back. that's what he means by in bed. <laughs> So Bob is embedded in the bed. Yeah, he says he didn't have to come on the radio this morning. He literally is embedded. He's literally embedded at this moment. <laughs> well, we all know that Bob's not a, a morning person. He just kind of sleepwalks through the morning show. Uh, but um, Bob is up there, and he'll be having a good time up there with, at the Super Bowl activities and um, column reports. And then, of course, next week, him and I will talk about his experiences up there in Atlanta. It's amazing, you know, who he sees. He'll go on about 10 minutes about the different models that he sees there on Radio Row. <laughs> and uh, also, if you want to hear all the activities going on uh, during Super Bowl week, uh, especially on Radio Row and other places throughout town, you can listen to our AM station, which is Sports Talk, Fox Sports Radio, 1370 AM, The Buzz, WLOP. The entire group will be up there on Radio Row interviewing athletes and uh, famous stars and movie stars and TV stars and athletes that are currently playing and athletes uh, that have retired and all kinds of famous folks there on Radio Row. So uh, you can tune in to AM 1370, 1370 in your AM dial, Wayne County's Heritage Radio Station, WLOP, Fox Sports Radio. But right now here on 105.5 FM and Jessup, WYFO, I uh, called um well actually i think i text i text uh, ralph on um on this weekend and asked him to come in this morning because i didn't have a guest lined up here on the world famous butch and bob show and uh, you know i can talk to myself but i don't think people would like to hear me talking to myself for 30 minutes and <laughs> so this morning actually we're going to be the world famous butch and ralph show the butch and ralph show this morning that's <laughs> right the butch and ralph show and just want to say uh, ralph i had the chance to, to go back and see uh, another movie at the uh, strand on um saturday uh saturday night i went and saw glass that new movie glass which is number one in the country right now and i haven't seen it yet it's good it's got, it, it, you know, I, I didn't know how I was going to like it and so forth, you know, but uh, you got uh, Samuel L. Jackson, who's a great actor. Uh, you got Bruce Willis in there, and I still can't remember the name of the guy that's got the 24 personalities, uh, but uh, he was fantastic. I mean, you watch that. Yeah, I, I, have, I, mean, I haven't seen He it. goes from, that, that, that actor goes from one character to another, just as. It's amazing. I mean, he had to put on an acting show to play in that uh, movie. We have right now, we got the Green Book, which is the one that 
it has it's been nominated for a lot of Academy Awards, and then we got the one um, Upside, which has a uh, Blue's Kevin Hart in it, and then of course the one you watch Glass. We I've been so busy, honestly, with um, the re- remodel over there on the other side with the new bistro that I haven't seen. The last thing I seen was Aquaman. Mm. I missed that. I wanted to see that. Um, I I can't really say, folks, uh, I wanted to go see Water Dude, and they'd say, what are you talking about? And I said, Aquaman. <laughs> I called him Water Dude. Well, Jamie liked it a lot. She went and bought me some uh, Aquaman un- underoos just after that. Un- she did. I hope they weren't Speedos. I can't tell you. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to ask her about that. You know, the, 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 the superheroes, you know, always wear those tight clothes, and well, you know, I don't think people will like to have a vision of you in tight clothes, Ralph, even though you have lost all this weight and I, gotten in shape. I'm at 110 pounds of loss so far. So, I, yeah. Isn't that fantastic? Yeah. Yeah, I loved your I love your picture up on the screen there where you're holding your, your pants that are, were as wide as the screen. <laughs> <laughs> and I was probably... Uh, uh, I was probably... 40, 50 pounds heavier then. Yeah, and so uh, you've gone on the diet. You've done your workout. Uh, you and Jamie are looking fantastic, y'all. Y'all got in shape and lost that weight? It's a competitive thing. We we compete against each other. Oh, y'all do. It's the oh, husband yeah. and wife competing against each other. Yeah, she goes to Cassie Langley. I go to uh, Jose Warbay. But when, when Cassie was out of town, we both went to Jose and – and uh, it, it was ugly because we were very competitive. Very incident. competitive. Oh, no, she's not going to beat me when it comes to something like that. So we yeah, had right. A... <laughs> Don't you know you always let the woman win? Yeah, it I'm makes... not, I'm just not good at that. <laughs> You're not good at that. <laughs> <laughs> it's always about winning. Uh, but uh, one of the reasons I wanted to bring in here Ralph Hickox in this morning is that, you know, you've got the Strand Theater, uh, and it has been such – a, I'm just going to say blessing uh, to Jessup, Wayne County, and to downtown Jessup uh, because it brings in so many people to the downtown Jessup area. Well, it, it's uh, exceeded any expectation that, honestly, that I actually had to begin with. And uh, that kind of was, that's what's brought on the need for the attached restaurant, the bistro, as I call it. Uh, you know, the, the hallway only is only 10 feet wide, so you have so much egress there, it's just not much. You can't put chairs in there because of that reason. You know, if you right. put chairs in the hallway, then it would block people from you know, getting in and out. Right. And the fire marshal probably wouldn't allow that either. <laughs> no, no. you, you got to leave that much interest. Yeah. So, we, you know, we, we sell out very frequently uh, in the Strand. So we, we had a problem with people that have to stand in the hallway, wait on the movie. And, you know, and even though we serve food, there's nowhere to sit down unless you're in the theater uh, with the food. Right. And then uh, it's done so much in volume with food that the – Little ten by twelve kitchen couldn't possibly handle the volume that's that we're putting out. So it was there was a definite need to to add on. So I, I purchased the building beside it. I gained about fourteen hundred square feet there, and we're adding a full commercial kitchen in it. And there's plenty of room to sit down. There'll actually be two dining areas. They'll where the current concession stand is, where you buy food at now. Mm-hmm. That whole area is about twenty by fifteen or so. And we'll bust all that out, and we'll have seating there. So you, so can you will there. have seating where the concession stands are now at the Strand. Yeah, you'll be able okay. to sit there, or you can sit in the, uh, uh, you know, I penetrated the walls between the Strand and the other building, which was like 18 inches thick. My well, wife had a cow. Wall. <laughs> well, and I did that in the middle of the night while she was trying to sleep. So I was at You're up there banging on the wall, breaking that wall between the two um, There buildings. was so much stress. After the election process, we just had, <laughs> you know... Getting a hold of this big demolition jackhammer and tearing an 18-inch wall through was just, you know. Great rough. therapy. Huh? It, it just really was. fantastic therapy. I you should have it. invited the other four commissioners to come in and help you. Well, I, you know, that was, that's a good idea. Yeah, they, they would have probably enjoyed it, too. You know, they, they actually taken, would have. It was really They would have good. had the great therapy there. They were busting up an 18-inch wall between the Strand and the new bistro next door. Well, you know, maybe we need another door. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it takes to help, I'm more than glad to That's right. facilitate it. Yes, yeah. sir. So you're busting up that 18-inch wall there between the uh, the Strand and the building next door that you've purchased. You've right. got the Strand Bistro sign already on the front. Yeah. You sent me pictures the other day of this oven. Oh, T- yeah. Tell me about that round dome oven. What is that thing? It looks like a space spaceship. Well, see, we were supposed to be going on vacation to Italy for about three or four weeks. Was right. Almost four weeks. Back in October, and while Jamie went on vacation, I really was on recon. Oh, and you were on recon, huh? Yeah, she weren't aware of that, but I was. And I found that um, 
they cook in these brick and gas fired ovens over there and they cook at a lot higher temperature in Italy. Yeah. Okay. And it is no it's it's, it's a totally different product. We already have we already had pizza, you know, we already had hamburger, we already had wings. Right. I just uh, the the new restaurant has just improved the quality and um th- this oven cooks at around 900 degrees mm-hmm. and you can put out product a lot faster even at that. And and it, and it makes the uh, crust a lot crispier on the outside and airy inside because it flashes off the moisture. Okay. So it's a much better product. So anyway, I, while I seen that while I was over there, and I thought that's what I really wanted. That and we're gonna bring gelata in and tossed wings, which I before was using just fried wings. Right. So um, after I did a little bit of research, I found a company that uh, in Italy that made it, and okay. uh, they built it in Italy. They shipped it here, and it had to be assembled on site by a crew that came in. It weighs 4,000 pounds. Holy moly. I mean, it, it's big, uh, and, and you can tell that it's heavy-duty industrial. Oh, yeah. But 4,000 pounds? I was going to have, you know, I got pallet jacks, so I was going to have to move it back into place after right. I finished the walls you've seen on the pictures. Right. And so I went to put a pallet jack under it and lift it up. And, you know, the pallet jack concentrates the weight on the that rear wheel and the two front wheels. Right. And even though I got two by uh, 12s on 16-inch center and two layer of three-quarter inch OSB, uh-huh. it still was about to buckle the floor. Wow. I had to lay another layer down just to be able to move the, the oven. But so you've got the oven in place now ready to cook. Is that right? When I leave here. When you leave here. I will. We, we, they're laying the rest of the floor as men you speak. Okay. And I will roll it into place. I've already fired it off one time. So it's, so you've got a gas line in already? Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, basically, we took that building. I, Jamie ribs at me. I paid that much for two walls and dirt because we uh, ripped out every wall. We, we, we re-roofed it. Uh, I took it all the way down to the, the dirt. Um, I put new floors in, new electrical, plumbing, gas lines, everything. In the 1,400-square-foot area. To the left of the strand, is that right? Yeah, it's 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 like a new. It really is new construction because I mean I, I took it all the way down. New air conditioning system. Um, now I've tried to re, uh, uh, repurpose as much as possible. The original hundred year old tin I found after I took layers of ceilings out. Mm-hmm. We were able to take that and uh, and uh, pressure wash it down and do a little bit of work to it. And if you look at the backsplash behind the oven, that's the original hundred year old tin that was there when the building was built. Man, who built that building? That was part of the, uh, of the Oakwinds when they built that whole complex there. The Oakwind uh, complex there in downtown. Well, Jessica. they built they built the strand for the, you know the, um, the Riggins actually bought it from Oakwinds a little bit later. Right. But he built like a I guess that was your uh, mini mall at the time because he built the Oakwind. St- yeah, he okay. well, the original uh, the building the was, bu- was like building a, a, a mini okay. mall. O'Quinn built the mini mall, the yeah. O'Quinn mini mall in downtown Jessup, but well, the Riggins bought it not long after that, right? Yeah, that's probably not the right word, but they. they but we're just calling it that, okay? Because he built the strand. Mm-hmm. So all you can look at it and see it was all built at one time. The strand, the uh, what used to be Flowers Jury, the little store, what, what I use is Screen Three, the um, security place to the right of the strand, mm-hmm. all the way down to the corner where uh, Mr. Toodle had his place and Ray Lane. That was all built at the same time. Okay. <clears throat> so that's why I'm calling the mini mall. Okay. And so you're, you're building, this is Ralph Hickox in here this morning, the owner, uh, him and his wife, Jamie, of the Strand Theater, and, of course, uh, the Jessup Drive-In, and Ralph Hickox, also a county commissioner. So you've you purchased this building, you've stripped it, you've used some of the original stuff, you've got a whole bunch of new stuff in there, you've put in this 4,000 put pound uh, oven that cooks at 900 degrees, it's going to be called the Strand Bistro. What kind of uh, entrees will you be serving there at uh, the Strand Bistro? Well, our, our three main foods, it really is the same as it is now, it's just better quality. We'll, we'll serve um, our custom burger we make, we'll still have that, we'll have uh, bon- a boned-in wings that we would toss in different type of uh, uh, flavors, and then we'll have uh, the Neapolitan or New York style pizza, we'll have uh, calzones and a few other Italian dishes. I'm, you know, Jamie don't cook, everybody knows that. And I'm not that much of a cook either, so we're, we're hiring a chef. So I hope so. We're, we're I really also, hope so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I could do like cheese toast would be really good, but uh, Jamie you cook like I do, right? yeah. <laughs> which is not much. Well, we've we've been interviewing some people who uh, have culinary experience. We want we really want okay. a quality. It does no good if you you spend this money and make a really nice place, and we are trying to make it very nice. 
But if you do that and and you don't have a, a, a really quality cook, it's, it kind of defeats the purpose. But we um, we are doing that. But that'll be our three main per, uh, foods. And uh, the idea behind the place is to facilitate the strand. That's right. the main thing. Now we will have uh, a walk-in dining area. Now we'll have its own door, its own yes. walk-in, and 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 if the strand's not showing movies, it'll still uh, be open. It'll still be open. Mm. And what hours you ex- will you be open on the strand bistro? We'll open for lunch. It'll be like eleven o'clock. And then, then, there's lunch. a lot of change actually. We're we're blowing the doors. Uh, the strand out to even with the marquee so that when oh, you, you are okay. yeah so when you walk in you'll you'll, you'll have that tall entrance and uh-huh. um we're doing that we're putting the uh poster holders where they used to be years ago to the left and the right of the marquee okay uh you, if you notice the uh the holes above on the, the bistro you see the windows up there mm-hmm. you know back in the day they they had those windows to let the for, for, for circulation of heat you know, that open the windows and let the air out. Well, right. we, obviously, we obviously don't need that, but what we the reason why I'm putting the windows back is I have a local artist who's uh, making stained glass for me. Oh, wow. And uh, the one in the middle will have the name of the, the bistro. It'll have okay. the little chef. With the, the chef looks a little like me, but it'll have... <laughs> <laughs> A little, yeah. So a he, little. You have a mustache. You have a goatee or just a mustache? No, I'm, I, that's, it's just a tricky little Just bit. a little tricky thing there. Okay. And then the other, all the other uh, windows will be like movie scenes, like uh, Going to Wind and uh, okay. uh, Faye with King Kong climbing on a building. Okay. Uh, so it'll, it'll, it'll be really neat. Okay. Hold on. Jonathan, up front. Okay, um, that sounds great. So that'll be open. The job. When do you expect the um, Strand Bistro to open up? Going to do well. I'm targeting a soft opening for March the first, which is pretty tight. But what I mean by soft opening it means the kitchen, the new kitchen, and the concession area of it will be operational, and and the new menu will be operational with the dining area opened in the Strand, the dining area in the Bistro. You know, I'm putting copper ceilings in there just like the Strand has, and mm-hmm. I got. And, and that's going to take some time. And then I recovered uh, when, when when we pulled the floor up from the uh, original building, it had like six layers of floors. So they just they just kept put floor and yeah. floor after floor through the years. But I got down to the bottom floor and it was tongue and groove hard of pine and uh, in bad shape. So I, I pulled it all up as careful as possible. We have it at my shop and we're going to take time to plane it down. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to try to reuse that wood on the front area so to answer your question on the first of um march we're going to soft opening with the dining area in the strand and with the actual full food service from the um bistro and my goal is by the opening of avengers which is in april mm-hmm. to so the reason why march is march 8th is um is open of uh captain marvel oh okay. that's going to be a huge movie and then uh, there's several, the Dumbo comes out in the end of March. That's going to be a big movie, okay. and then but the big mega movie will be a, uh, will be uh, April 27th, and that'll be um, the continuation of uh, Avengers from last year. So th- that at that point, I, I need to be 100% opened up. So okay. that's kind of the plan. All right, uh, what you know got you? You know, you you put all that money and that time and effort into uh, completely remodeling the strand the uh the strand building and making the three theaters and making it first class i mean you got folks coming in there who have indoor theaters in their towns but still come here because of the uh, expanded menu because of the comfortable reclining leather seats with a swivel tray and uh and, and the experience and the art deco uh look inside of it uh what Got you to say, all right. I want to buy next door and 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 make a bistro. What what got you to do that, Ralph? Well, I had to. Um, if you want to continue to improve and you want the business, we in the last year we've had. Um, you know, I have a POS system that tracks every every person that comes in, every ticket sold. We've had seventy six thousand people buy a ticket to come to the Strand in the last three hundred sixty five days. Oh, that's I mean, two and a half times the population of Wayne County. Yeah, and we we targeted about. Four hundred thousand dollars in gross sales is what we target. Mm-hmm. The strand would be able to do. It's done over four times that. So the volume of the strand is 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 really dictating this. And if if you come in, if you come in with your family and you have to stand there because it's sold out. First of all, you can't buy a ticket, Harley, at, at the door on busy movies. But you have to stand there in the hallway and wait for the, the movie to get out, holding your popcorn, holding your drink. Right. And then because the kitchen's not big enough, it might be a little smoky in there from the uh, exhaust system not able to handle it. 
How long are you going to continue to come? You know, if I don't improve that. So right. the improvement was I, I had to have had a commercial to kitchen. I need somewhere for you to sit down with your family before, maybe maybe uh, come in, sit down, get something to eat before you go in, or at least be able to relax. I had to continue that service theme that we always angle at, and it it, it was just. It had to happen. Yeah, and I know that uh, when um, when uh, Grace and I went on um, on Saturday night at six thirty to um, to watch Glass, uh, we got there a little after six o'clock, and we ordered our food around six ten, and then we had to wait for the other group to get out. I think they got like at six fifteen, and we went and sat down, and then about another fifteen minutes later or so, the the uh, the food showed up. So right. I know that when you've got one small kitchen trying to uh, make food and p- prepare food and cook food for three different theaters, it takes a while. So I, that's it the does. reason why I told her I said we need to get there early because it's going to take a minimum of twenty minutes for the food to be uh, prepared. And I don't know some and of my food. You know, we got food that was cooked. It wasn't like popcorn. Okay. Yeah, and some of my food is it's not going to ever be faster. And and I need people to understand that you. you I know when you pull up to McDonald's or Burger King or any of the other fast food joints, you, you order, and within a minute and a half, they got your burger sticking out the window. Mm. But trust me, they didn't just cook that. No, it's been sitting under a hot light. Yeah, we don't do that. Whenever you order a hamburger there, it's it's raw, uncooked, unpreheated at all it's meat. It's fresh. Yeah, it's, tell me about your French fries. They were some of the best French fries <laughs> I've ever eaten. That, that, again, that. We, we take, when you order it, it is a potato. It is a potato. That's really yes. right. A single order is a potato. Yes. All right. And then a a, 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 a double order is two, two potatoes. Two two large and potatoes. They, and they cut them up. When you order it. When you order it, they cut. They, the potato's there, okay? And they cut it up, and then they fry it. Takes, it. So it takes longer. And just like the hamburger, if it's near frozen beef. We, buy, we only buy from Rick's Meats. Okay. We uh, And we have a special mix we put in it. The hamburgers are uh, they're eight ounces. They're half a pound. So that's a big burger. Yes, sir. Yeah, sorry, I got the King Kong. Well, you can't you can't cook eight ounces of raw meat in less than about twenty minutes. Yeah. If you do, it'll be, it'll be raw. <laughs> so you know, I can't really speed that process up. And then the potato, you know, if you if they've been flash fried like most of your um, processed fries you buy, right. yeah, you can cook those in a few minutes. But when you take a raw potato and you slice it and you mm-hmm. cook it. It's going to take you about six or seven minutes to yeah, cook. Yeah, the, 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 the fries were fa- absolutely fantastic. So that's something I, the I we're not, it's going to always be that slow because I'm, I'm not going to I'm, I'm not going to cave on my quality. Right. You know? Well, you made something different there, and, and that's what people like about it. It's better. It's different. It's a it's a um, a, a, a better uh, uh, and a, a service to go to to be get the, the more quality food. In addition to, to the quality food that you have there, it's not fast food. It's quality food. But you've also got the servers there that are dressed in their white shirts or blouses and black pants. And, and did they have a little bow tie? That, that they have thing to wear on? a black bow tie. A, a black bow tie. And they're constantly walking the edges of the theater looking to see if anybody raises their hand that they may need something. I stress to them that sir, it's, it's, all about, it's all about service. Yeah. You know, the people, when, when you paid the money for your ticket, you buy, you, you really, the money was not issued. That's why you spent it. What is an issue is that you get away from the hustle and bustle of the world for a, a little while and you can enjoy yourself with your family. And if you go in there and you're frustrated because they're not waiting on you or you, you don't get your food or it's not right or they're, they're being a little um, snotty, you know, that's not what you're there for. And so I stress to them how important it is to, to have put out quality food. It needs to look right, taste right, their presentation, how they dress. I have lost more than more than a few employees because they come to work with uh, look like they pull a shirt out from under the bed. <laughs> you know, maybe, maybe the cat slept on it, and then I'm real strict about it's got to be a press shirt, it's got to be yeah. clean. You know, they got how they present themselves. And that's the reason why you've been so successful with the theater in the last years, because you put uh, service and quality first. Has to be. Yeah, and and you've done that with the Strand Theater. Ralph Hickox in here this morning. Uh, Him and his wife, Jamie, own the Strand Theater and Jessup Drive-In. They're soon to open up the Strand Bistro right next door. So you'll have folks uh, to be able to go there and sit down and eat uh, beforehand where the current um, uh, concession stand is, you're gonna make that into a sitting area, and then the bistro. One or two, yeah. Yeah, and then in the next door uh, there at the uh, bistro, you'll have a sitting area there. Uh, the folks can uh, sit down and eat, and um, and enjoy their food, or they can just uh, have it, um, you know, give the order, go sit down in their seat, and have it delivered to them inside the theater as normal. You know, but one thing's amazing now: this, how much attention Jessup's got. It well, it, it wasn't. Um, well, like I said, we're in a mint. When, when I when I built the when I went in and built the building out, it wasn't intended this way. 
But I have got, I can't tell you the, the communities across the state of Georgia who's reached out to me, come, they've drove here. What did you do there? How can we do it in our community? Would you come be a part of it here? Mm-hmm. I've got at least four communities that's, that's asked me to come in and do the same thing there. I had a major corporation who had me go before their executive board, want me to to carry the same theme into uh, into um, uh, like malls, but throw it out. Right. So the, the, it's caught the attention of a lot of people. Now, folks, you can always uh, text in uh, questions and comments during the World Famous Butch and Bob Show or any other time during the day. But during the Butch and Bob Show also at our regular business line, it's text enable. It uh, will pop up here on my computer screen, uh, screen at 912-427-3711. 912-427-3711. Can't answer the phone because I'm talking. But I can read the text messages. And you were just talking about, you know, you require your employees there at the Strand to wear pressed white shirts, nice-looking black pants, and also a bow tie. Somebody just texted in, since we got a lot of our stuff on video now, it goes like that. People can go to BigDogCountry.com, BigDogCountry.com, click on the Butch and Bob Show, <laughs> and it's on video. We're right up there. Hey, y'all. And so uh, we're on uh, BigDogCountry.com, both audio and video. And uh, so someone just texted in, <laughs> Butch, I think you should make Jonathan and Bob wear press shirts. <laughs> 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 now, you know, there's a place. There's a certain place that would f- probably freeze over first before that would happen. <laughs> <laughs> there are the two people who could find out what's ever on the floor. They can throw on and come in in the mornings. Now, but when they leave after the mornings, uh, you know, get together here you know, and and come back, you know. They're presentable, okay? It's just that, you know, in the mornings, they're in a hurry to get here, and they've never been on video before. Of course, Jonathan's never on, well, yeah, sometimes he is, because sometimes I don't show up in the morning, so <laughs> <laughs> he's on video, but um, uh, but that's the way they are. They come in, they're in a hurry, they get, they're doing their work, and then they go back to their, their um, apartment or home and then, then get ready for the rest of the day looking good. But I have to come in already because I don't go back afterwards, you know. So I do come in with the press shirt and, and that kind of stuff because I don't go back home to change. Well, I got a lot of, good, I got a lot of really good staff. I'm very proud of them. Uh, they, they do a good job. You know, it's like any, anywhere else. They'll drop the ball sometimes. But for the most part, I got some really good kids. Uh, I, I, like, I like to hire high school kids for the servers. And I guess well, what I learned is, see, when you're in high school, before mm-hmm. you graduate, you, you – haven't had enough world experience to realize how mean the world is. Mm-hmm. And so you're just nice. <laughs> so, <laughs> so all these kids, are, they just bubble with enthusiasm and they're nice. They haven't learned, hey, the real world is actually mean out there. <laughs> yes, it can be rough out there sometimes. <laughs> now, you've got to very, be uh, very pleased as uh, being the owner of the drive-in that the uh, picture that was uh, – the, the photograph that was chosen to be the, uh, the, the, the top – uh, photograph chosen in this competition for the send to the uh, to the movie producers mm-hmm. was of the strand. I mean, was was of the drive-in. Yeah, he got fifteen hundred uh, fifteen hundred dollars for that. I didn't get none of it. Yeah, but you gave him permission to take the picture, right? Yes, you, you just, signed off on the disclaimer, didn't you? I, I should yeah, do, I see you did just something. So I mean, don't no. complain about what you permitted, Ralph. <laughs> No, I was I was very excited. You were about excited it. for yes, it, yeah, absolutely. because look, the publicity you'll get off of that is way more than fifteen hundred bucks. Well, yeah, both of the, the driving industry are very dear to me and Jamie. Where we love history and we we uh, we love what impact they've had to the to the community of the last hundred years for the strand and the um, well since nineteen forty eight seventy. I think this is our seventy fifth anniversary. Or last year was of oh, the, the drive in. Yeah, it opened in forty eight. In forty eight, yeah, yeah. Our AM station, uh, Fox Sports Radio thirteen seventy AM, the Buzz WLOP went on the air in July of nineteen forty nine. So this so, is your seventy fifth anniversary. Yeah, we just celebrated our fiftieth anniversary in twenty eighteen of WYFOFM. While people are listening to you right now, it went on in July of, of um, nineteen sixty eight. And uh, WLOP, 1370 AM, went on the air in July of 1949. Well, so we would have be had celebrating a, our 70th this year. We would have had a big bash for it, but Jamie dropped the ball. Oh, she did? She yeah, did. Always, th- yeah, I mean, you know, she runs the drive-in more than I. I kind of take the strand, and, uh-huh. and uh, she dropped the ball. You've been married long enough. You don't say things like that about your wife. <laughs> 
you know, happy wife, happy life. I mean, no. uh, Ralph. Well, you know, I'm kidding. Let me tell you I know something. you are. Jamie's. He's. She's. A, she's a yin and my yang. I mean, she's, she's a yin to your yang. Well, so they need to be a yang to your yang. Let me we, tell you. we took one of them uh, personality profiles the other uh, day. What part of a program we're going through? Right. And you know, they got the. I don't know if people know about this. The red, green, yellow, and blue. Yeah, there's four different types, and most yeah. people are, are are a combination of two. Okay. Well, I was like all yellow and all. Blue. Oh. None of the other two. Jamie was all the other two and none of them. <laughs> and I said, well, that's why it works so well. I mean, <laughs> yeah, y'all, y'all yin and yang there. When, huh? you, when you put us together, we're complete. And that's the reason why some people can't understand why other people are the way they are. Because they are four dis- – well, they've broken down through the years, four distinct personalities. And uh, and most people are a combination of two. They do have a dominant of the two, but right. they're usually a combination of the two. And if they're a partner or if they're, or if they're a co-worker or, or anybody they have to work with is of the other two, they just don't understand them. I mean, it's, it's hard for them to understand them. So you've got to learn to work together. But to get the best out of something, you need a combination of everybody. That, I agree. It takes a little bit of, of all the, the perspective. And uh, now I'll, I'll tell you what, Jamie is uh, – She's aces. I mean, me and her really work together well. I, I couldn't imagine doing all we do without her. Yeah. And so uh, so what are they going to do with that uh, that picture that was um, uh, took first place in the photography contest for the movie theaters? Or not movie theater, but the movie producing companies that come into the state of Georgia. Where did they send that picture, and how is it going to be used, that uh, nice uh, uh, picture taken of the It's uh, not just that drive-in. picture. They're, you'll, they'll use all of them. But they'll use um, all of them? Okay. Yeah, there's a database. Uh, Georgia's really big into the uh, – uh, it's the Hollywood of the South. It There's is a lot of films. You know how many? In Georgia. If you were, if you look at the credits at the end of a movie, a you'll see that Georgia peach yes. up there on a lot of them. Well, so what? That there's a site. Uh, uh, what do they call it? It's uh, Georgia Photo Ready. Uh, um, I forgot what's called, but the people communities send them unique, and it's not always a pretty picture. It's a picture, something unique, something different. Right. And they send it in these. Um, to the to the Georgia's website they got, and then they catalog it by categories, and then and then whenever whenever a film uh, when a company's looking to put a film, they can simply type in uh, we need a covered bridge or we right. need uh, looking for a drive-in, or and it'll pull up all the pictures that, in Georgia. So it 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 uh, it, uh, it helps them to find locations throughout Georgia to film their their scene in, and so for our part for the Georgia's part it, it helps keep them here. Right. You know, we got great tax credits that, that are given to the uh, film industries. Mm-hmm. You know, it was a film that uh, was done in Glenville with uh, Will Smith, and it was really good. It was good uh, economic impact yeah. for Glenville. Yeah, a lot of folks don't understand that when you're watching a movie, they could be a scene in this town, this town, this town, and you think it's all in one town. It was like the, the original Longest Yard that was uh, filmed a lot up here at Re- uh, the prison up here at Reedsville. That scene that. where he's being chased uh, at the beginning, where he took off with his um, with his um, with his girlfriend's car, he's flying through streets in Savannah. Next thing he turns, he's on a bridge. Actually, that that was the bridge in Brunswick. In Brunswick. <laughs> yeah, I was <laughs> just know? thinking the same thing. That that was the bridge that got. Uh, hit by the by hit boat. By the boat. Yeah. yeah, so but he's on that bridge, but he's in Savannah. Yeah, supposed to be in Savannah on a bridge, but actually he turns and boom, there he is on the bridge in, in Brunswick. But that's how a lot of the movies are. You know, yeah. you can have different scenes in different places, and you think it's all in the same town. That's funny. I was thinking the exact scene where you start. Were you? About, yeah, <laughs> a lot of people don't know that. Yep. Uh, but I was going to talk to you about some government stuff, too, now that you know, you're a county commissioner, but we're already at 833. That was planned. About- See, I, <laughs> I, I thought if I, if I drug you long enough on the good stuff that you might forget I was a county commissioner. So I didn't get a chance to talk to you about any government stuff. But well, we, I, had, we had a blast talking about it. I'll say this, though. What's that? I, it, you know, it appears to me right now that there's, we're all trying to work together. Uh-huh. We're trying to. Fix some problems. There's not. You know, everybody knows the, the election process was. Uh, it was rough. It was rough. But um, it's it's positive right now. I believe we're we're all trying to work together. We're all trying to get something done. We're, we we each one are working on different things. We're trying to fix it. Oops. And I, I'll say that. 
Okay. All right. So things are going. Y'all trying to work together, kumbaya, with the county commissioners, right? We all, 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 well, hold hands, yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, kumbaya. Yeah, yeah. Get, get around the, the the campfire at night. Now, we're, now remember, if you need another hole in your wall, get a hold of the other four commissioners and give them that jackhammer so it can give them the therapy it gave you because well, you look a lot calmer now after that, doing that. You doing that jack wall? That's on that a good idea. You know, I'm thinking about you. Know, we're talking about having a retreat again. Yeah. And rather than jack wall, I think the strand with the the wall would we could start out with a jack putting a hole through the wall yeah yeah and that would be really good it's great it's great therapy it really is and if you really get frustrated you can take jack hammer out on one of the other ones <laughs> no don't do that now we're supposed to be kumbaya now <laughs> it is it's no physical harm to anyone <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ralph Hickox in this morning. We had him in this morning to talk about the new addition to the Strand Theater in downtown Jessup. It's going to be called the Strand Bistro to give them more capability to cook the food better, more of it, uh, more sitting area, a separate bistro next door. Should be an open up around the 1st of March uh, for part of it, and then the whole um, whole thing open up in around april and uh folks uh, we en- encourage you to go down there and 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 taste the food and, and enjoy the experience and see that dog on four thousand pound oven that is something else yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like a small spaceship sitting out there in the middle of the street of cherry street <laughs> yeah it was deep. whenever we uh we got um ace hardware th- kudos to them they they loaned me their their uh um, forklift to get it off the truck it actually was so heavy the pallet that it was tilting the back end of the the uh, forklift off the ground oh we had about four of us get on the back of it good thing i hadn't lost too much weight because i was able to help carry weight that <laughs> thought you might have to call landon's or grants or somebody like that to lift up with it one was, of them it big was trucks. hard to get off yeah it, the back tire was off the ground uh, but uh, thanks to, to them to help me out yes. all right ralph you have a most wonderful day Thank you. and thanks for coming here on the world famous butch and bob and now ralph show okay yeah, the, the butch <laughs> All right, 105.5 FM and Jess of Big Dog Country Radio, WIFO, World Famous Butch and Bob Show, brought to you by the Women's Health Center in downtown Jessup. Also brought to you by Murphy Little Spawn, Northeast Broad Street in Jessup, and the Wolf Animal Hospital, and by Mike Bridge Ford in Blackshear. The World Famous Butch and Bob Show.